Hey guys, my name is Samuel and you're watching Technorite. What's going on guys? Welcome to Technorite where technology is done right. So um today's video we, I'm going to teach you um on how to set up and run PCSX2 um, which is actually a PS2 emulator so uh, if you're already watching this video I assume that you already know what is PCSX2 and you want to know how to set it up so let's get straight into it okay so um, open your browser um, so the website you want to go is PCSX2.net enter so you'll get to the official website of the PCSX2 and I just click clicked it okay so now you don't have to care anything just highlight this download get PCSX oh my god that's hard to say PCSX2 okay so um when you uh, highlight it when you just hover above it you will get this um all these operating systems so you have windows Linux and Mac so I'll go for the Windows because I have a Windows system duh okay so um, you'll be prompted to this page which is um, which has two options you can go with the standalone installer and the binary version the binary version is actually um, is a compressed package of all the uh, stuff so you have to install it um, separately which I do not recommend I recommend you to go to the standalone installer it's just one click one install and you're done so we're going to download that click it here and you can see it's already downloading so um, yeah it takes a while okay so while that is working you can go down to the link below um, you can see that I have uh, entirely PS2 BIOS so you go there download it uh, the PS2 BIOS which is this file will be in my uh, drive so you can just go and click and download it the link will be never broken I'll fix it okay so don't worry so uh, when you download the PS2 BIOS file will download will only take one minute or few seconds usually based on your internet so you're going to get it as a WinRAR file if you don't have WinRAR just go and download WinRAR just to extract it so you have all these files okay so what you will do um, is create a new folder okay here click on rename it to BIOS now open the PS2 BIOS folder and extract each and everything yeah each and everything into the BIOS folder which you just created okay X that can delete this file so you have all your bios and stuff here okay so um yeah okay so my internet is slow i guess hold on yeah it's quite slow. it's been slow from that day okay so let me just Oh no. Okay guys, so um we are back. So what I did was I was searching for the um download file which I had already in my download folder. So I cancel that you don't cancel this, you really need this. So after you download it, you'll get this installation thing. So you just click double click on it, click on yes. Okay, so you want to check all of this next. Uh locate to your download uh, installing folders and stuff yeah so we click there and yeah so we click install and it should install quite fast okay so um come on okay so click 
close it now what you do is you go to the file location okay so I already have this thing in here the BIOS folder what you want to do I'm going to do it this what you want to do you won't have the BIOS but you need to copy this BIOS folder which we extracted just now into that okay so um yeah refresh the file okay so when you double click this the desktop icon you'll get this message prompting you this is the first time message when you install so you get this click on next okay you won't get this um, I just got because I uninstalled PCSX2 and now I'm reinstalling it so let's go cancel okay so you'll get all of this click on next okay now what you want to do is uncheck this and browse to the um, folder to the BIOS folder where you copied just now so you want to go to the file where you copy. so just click highlight that and click select folder and you have all this so I what I recommend is to go for the USA version because most of the games are the USA version if you are I'm not sure whether other games uh, run different versions but USA version used to work for all the games so it's it's a better choice to go with USA so just clicked on click on that and click finish okay so this is the actual uh, emulator okay so um, I see people suffering on how to set their keyboard for SD controller if you don't have a PS2 controller so I'm going to go on that also real quickly so what you go what you do is you go to config go to controllers and go down to plugin settings click on that and you get this message don't mess with anything here uh, just check whether your uh, keyboard is here my keyboard is here so yeah okay so what you do now you get these um, there's a configuration setting so what you do you click on the um, button which is the square on a PS2 controller you're going to map it to your uh, keyboard so when I click the square I'm going to click this button so it uh, recognizes the square as the left key so you can just randomize your keys for which suits you so I'm just going to go like this circle cross and all that so I'm just going to click apply and click OK so um, yeah so that's how you set up the uh, keyboard for the controller and now to boot into an ISO you should have an downloaded ISO okay so you can get ISOs from um, MU Paradise okay which will also be in the description below just click on the link and then you'll get to and then you just uh, find your ISOs so I do have an ISO here so what you do is you yeah so you go to the C DVD go to ISO selector and click browse and then now you just search for the ISO I have an ISO here here no I'm not sure where am I okay oh yeah here so I'm going to PS2 games Pro Evolution Soccer okay so the moment I click the uh, the um, ISO you can see that uh, this ISO is loaded so what you go you go to system and click on boot C DVD full
so this is just crappy stuff but it'll be okay in real life so no worries okay so you can see my keyboard is working and yeah the game is actually booting so um that's pretty much it guys so um yeah if you have any other questions about this pc sx2 emulator you can drop them down in the comments and i'll get to you asap so um don't worry the bios links uh will be fixed the moment i see a comment saying that it's broke so don't worry about it the bios will be updated um, every time it's broken and yeah i'll put a few websites to download iso games so it'll be easier for you guys to find out to download isos so yeah i think that's about it guys um yeah do what you do best so yeah please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out